We begin this morning with a powerful snowstorm that is causing big trouble across much of the country, but the worst of it is really in the Midwest. We have live coverage from west to east this morning, beginning with our Dave Price, who is riding the storm out in Rochacha, Rochester, Minnesota. <laughs> Good morning, Dave. Oh, good morning to you, Harry. It has been a rough overnight here. Whiteout conditions in many locations. That is State Road 52. It runs from central Minnesota all the way into Iowa, and that's directly where this blizzard is running as well. Upwards of a foot of snow in most of the locations here. Roads not quite impassable, but visibility down to zero in a lot of locations. Uh, right now, the temperature outside is just about 17 degrees with winds gusting as high as 38 miles per hour, and it feels like it's too below. This storm continues to wreak havoc and it moves east. But this morning, people are just beginning to get an inventory of the damage done so far. As the massive storm moves eastward, it's now dumped a foot or more of snow in parts of Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. Wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour could create 15 foot snowdrifts. I'm like a turtle on ice out here. At least five deaths are being blamed on the storm. Officials warn anybody traveling through the region this morning that they could be taking a huge risk of getting stranded and help may not be able to reach them. It was just really tough going. There's a couple spots that I flew over just to roll bumps and I went wiggly ziggly, you know, that type of thing. In North Dakota, slick roads and a light pole proved to be a dangerous combination for one driver whose car was literally sliced in half. And while many are rightfully wary of this monster storm, one Illinois man bravely gave his lawn a final fall trim. And that would be about it. It's time for the snow blowers. This storm cutting a wide swath right now, all the way down in Des Moines. They're also in the bullseye of the storm, and that's where KCCI's Alex Murphy is joining us this morning. Alex? Good morning, we're in Des Moines, Iowa, where the blizzard of 2009 is hitting our state. The snow fell overnight. We measured about 11 and a half inches outside our station, and then the winds picked up. We got a little bit more snow overnight also, and the winds continue to blow today in excess of 30 miles an hour. We will see gusts up to 50 miles per hour, making driving conditions difficult all across the entire state of Iowa. In Des Moines, for CBS News, I'm Alex Murphy. All right, the front edge of this storm now beginning, believe it or not, to roll all the way into interior sections and even coastal northeast, where you're seeing rain in New York City and sections of New England are seeing snow. Sarah Kanji is joining us, WBZ's Sarah Kanji, right now in Worcester. She's live. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Dave. It's been coming down here for almost three hours now. It is a wet snow coming down very fast. Take a look at this road. This is one of the busier roads and everyone's taking it very easy this morning. Very slippery conditions out there. Now this is really the first snowstorm of the season. It comes just at the worst time, right in rush hour traffic. And everyone always forgets how to drive carefully in the snow for this first snowstorm. So it's especially treacherous here today. But blowing conditions, it's pelting, it's in your face. Driving is very difficult. Old man winter is back here in New England. Live in Worcester, Massachusetts, I'm Sarah Kanji for The Early Show. Dave, back to you. All right, Sarah, more to come, by the way, in the Northeast as this storm begins to roll through. We'll talk about that. First, let's talk about the near-term whiteout conditions. Let's put up the maps and show you directly who is going to be affected and what you're going to see. 30 to 50 mile per hour winds, you can hear it in eight to 14 inches of snow today for sections of Minnesota and Wisconsin, even sections of Illinois. Watch it in Madison, in Des Moines, in Rochester. Then this storm will roll over the Great Lakes and you'll see enhanced snow in sections of Northwest Pennsylvania and New York. More on that in just a little while. In the meantime, we'll send it back to you. We are live in Rochester, Minnesota. Harry, Maggie, to you in New York. Dave, everyone, thank you so much for the wrap up.